These lights have been flashing more than normal since we've seen these triple digit temperatures. The reason all has to do with dehydration. If you're just out in the sun for 15 minutes to a half an hour and you're just sitting in the sun, um, you can become dehydrated very quickly with the increased temperatures that we're having. Dehydration is the first step towards a heat related illness. From there, it only gets worse. You're going to become lightheaded, you're going to become dizzy, you can start getting a headache from being dehydrated. Paramedic Eli Champagne's describing heat exhaustion. He says what to look for, sweating profusely and a red face. Once you start seeing those symptoms, Dr. Tom Penner says to drink small amounts of water frequently and get to a cooler area. Heat exhaustion is a far less serious but still somewhat emergent, um, but not life-threatening unless it progresses. If heat exhaustion goes untreated, it turns into something much more deadly, heat stroke. All of a sudden, sweating will cease, and that is a tail sign that someone is probably experiencing heat stroke. Champagne and Penner both say if someone experiences a heat stroke, they need to cool the body down immediately through cold water, a cool environment, and ice packs. And that's going to help um, just kind of cool, uh, try to cool down the body a little bit quicker. If you put it there on the neck or in the armpit area, so it's a really good uh, treatment. Get in the shade, cool off, hydrate uh, fluids uh, pretty aggressively. Paramedics with Medford Fire remind people to drink plenty of fluids, especially water, and try to stay in cooler, shaded areas. Covering your news in Medford, Ariana Rakshani, News 10.